Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Uh, in the last part I just got the water elemental metal and that means that I can now get water elemental ghosts from water sources like that. They just look like a wet poto boo. So now that I got the water element you basically got yourself a sprinkler. Uh, it's just it's pretty much just like the fire one except it doesn't have quite as much of a range because it just kind of flops to the ground. But uh, just like before, if you press the button all the way, um, you know, the L button, the, all the way until it clicks, you can shoot a water blast from a distance, and that's all there is to it, really. Needless to say, water elements can put out anything that's fire, like this door! Um, I kind of forgot to shake down this room full of its uh, pocket change in the last part, so um, just to make sure I didn't miss anything, I'm going to shake some stuff up here. I don't really think I missed anything that's all that important. Um, in this room, because I, I got all, like, the hidden treasures, like the gem that was in the stove and stuff like that. Uh, let's just continue on. Uh, the next area is the graveyard. This dog that you'll find, uh, see that? His name is Spooky. Um, first thing you want to do, see this, uh, this budding plant over here? Water it. Trust me on this. You want to water this plant and do it every area area two three and four you will get an incredible reward for doing so never ever ever forget to do that trust me on this ever <laughs> really so anyway now what you want to do is uh Around here, Spooky here is going to wake up, and he's going to start... Well, I should say, if you get close to him, he'll start a ruckus here. And uh, he has some pretty powerful attacks, so you want to avoid Spooky at all costs. At least for now. Uh, eventually, a skeleton will pop out, and it'll complain that Spooky is being a little bit too noisy. Here we go! He calls him Mr. Bones, I guess. Ow! Don't do that! Anyway, you want to stun Skeleton with a flashlight and get him to drop his... get him to drop a bone. Needless to say, as cartoons always say, dogs like to nibble on the bones, so it will drop a bone and that will att attract Spooky there. And you guessed it, that will make him vulnerable. And now you can pull him into your vacuum. Um, he has a very strong pull, and he can knock you off pretty easily, so be very... Oh! Four points away from the um, largest pearl. So close. But don't worry, once you uh, get that bone to appear on the ground, you can just uh, do it again. He's no longer harmful, because he's more interested in that bone than you than he is of you. And that uh, takes care of this room here. Now, you'll notice that there is a shiny spot in that doghouse there. Well, examine it with your Game Boy Horror. And like magic, a vortex appears! Ooh, it's spooky! I don't think there's anything that I can do more in this room here, so let's just uh, go into here and come out inside the graveyard. Ooh. Um, there's going to be some skeletons appearing here. Once you shake that middle gravestone over there, or I should say approach it, or you can just walk in the middle of it all and they'll appear. And what you want to do is uh, defeat all of them. There's got to be a graveyard in a haunted house, right? I mean, come on. You can't have a haunted house without a graveyard. That would be just silly. Uh, so let's just defeat all these guys and just get on with this. Um, you can't clear this room. There isn't anything else to find as well. So don't really worry about um, uh, searching this room religiously or something like that for stuff. Uh, I wouldn't even consider it a room, considering that it's outdoors. Well, now once you defeat them, that altar or whatever grave in the center there will uh, start glowing mysteriously. And you can also get some hearts from these things. I don't. I really don't think that you can get anything from this area, if I'm not mistaken. There's a big heart. Um, needless to say, if you don't get the hint, uh, with all these hearts that are around here, another boss is coming up. Oh yes! So, approach the altar, and let it start. This 
This is Bogmire. The Area 2 boss. Let's get this started. Uh, his weakness is that you have to wait for these ghosts to appear. Then just uh, suck them suck like this. Or maybe this isn't the right ghost <laughs> that you can suck in. Oh, you can only suck in the white ones, excuse me. So let's get him sucked onto the vacuum. Oh, I guess you can suck the blue ones as well. Let's shoot the, shoot the ectoplasm back at uh, Bogmire there, and you'll make him vulnerable. With that, and get ready to start sucking, and there we go. He's got a really, really strong pull, so don't expect to get him very easily or very quickly. Give me your ectoplasm there, and wait for a long shadow to appear. Boy, or that works. Woo! Oh, shoot, it pulled me into the other specters. Um, a good idea is to clear out the room before you try and get him, if you can. Um, the problem is that these other ghosts kind of get in your way, which is part of the difficulty of this boss. Uh, even though this boss isn't all that difficult, it's still kind of annoying in a way. Oh, I just barely missed. Uh, whenever you see a really long shadow, that's where Bogmire is going to appear. Can I shoot at him from a distance? Yeah! Oh, come on! It's really hard to aim in this game, you know, when you want to shoot something. Uh, so I guess that's part of this boss's difficulty, even though it's not very hard at all. Come on, come on. There we go. And there I see him up there. And give me your ectoplasm! Yeah! So close. Well, I think it's going to be one more round, and Bogmire will be mine. Uh, I see the long shadow down here, so that means he is over here. Do I have a shot? Do I have a shot? Do I have a shot? No! He moved towards the center and got me in with the other ghost. Curses! Uh, as you can see, I'm not being very careful around here to not take damage or anything like that. Um, oh! <laughs> Because otherwise I would be clearing out these other ghosts before I do so. Which is definitely something that you want to do, and pick your moments wisely if you want to get the gold rank for this ghost. I should say the gold portrait for this ghost. And that's it! Woo! Open this treasure chest, and get the key to the next room. It's a club key! I guess we're going to the bar or something, but maybe a dance, get it, club key. <laughs> Uh, okay, bad pun. Anyway, now you're gonna go get a call from Professor Elvengad here, and yes, I am okay. And uh, how, how, could, how did you lose my signal? Uh, you know, when the a lightning struck, but you could still tell that I had a battle there. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But hey, don't question the logic. Never question it. Otherwise, the universe will implode. I'm just making a uh, observation there. Anyway, time to change these ghosts into portraits. this little uh, uh, transformation sequence every time we beat uh, an area, basically. And there should be, if I'm not mistaken, six or seven portrait ghosts in Area 2. And I definitely got them all. I assure you I got them all, so don't worry about that. Mr. Lugs there was optional, but I got him anyway so I could get his diamond. Well, white diamond for two million, as well as other stuff. Whew, you're welcome. Well, I guess that's all about what I'll do in this part. I'd like to start a brand new area uh, from the very start of another part, you know, just for organizational sake. And, uh, yep, six ghosts in Area 2. I got them all! Woo! Well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part. Oh, I guess we got to take a look at the totals. This isn't the total of what I got this area. This is the to grand total of all the areas combined. Now look at all of uh, the money I'm racking up now because I'm searching all for all these secrets and stuff like that. Look at all those pearls! Whew! Five big pearls too. 29 million just for area two. 
I am well on my way to getting an A rank. I'm doing way better than my practice run. Anyway, I'm blabbering. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to save, and I will see you in the next part.